We're delighted that you're all here today. My name is uh, David Fader. I am one of our jets. I'm Vice President and Managing Director for Trump National Doral, one of the great morning to sit. It gives me a great pleasure today to introduce you to our staff. As you probably know, uh, the, the Trump family purchased this hotel in 2012. We put approximately $250 million in renovation, and we've been recognized by virtually every publication in the United States as being one of the top golf and meeting resorts in the country. Publications, I can't name them all, but just a few. TripAdvisor, Forbes, Golf Magazine, Golf Digest, Editor's Choice for Best Resorts in America, Successful Meetings Magazine, Best Renovation, 2016, US, US News and World Report, Best Hotel in the State, and we have about 20 other publications that have given us recognition. But at the end of the day, you know, brick and mortar only goes so far. It's the people that make the difference. And today it's great to have our staff representing our hotel, some of our clubs. We employ thousands of people in the state of Florida. And to have them here for this special occasion is really fabulous and it gives us a chance to recognize them because without them, we could not do what we do. With that, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Mr. Donald J. Trump. Thank you, David. And David and his staff have done an amazing job, I will say. So we're very proud of this. It's 800 acres in the middle of Miami. It's been a tremendous success. Uh, we could have renovated the inexpensive way with paint, but instead we ripped it down to the steel, uh, rebuilt uh, Doral, uh, even if you look at the ballroom, that was a brand new ballroom that didn't exist. We took it down to the absolute steel. We saved some of the structure, but even most of the structure was demolished. So if you would have seen it a year and a half ago, you would have seen a construction site. Uh, and we've had tremendous success. The bookings are through the roof. And I must tell you, the land is great. The golf courses are, as you know, the Blue Monster is one of the great courses of the world. It's a brand new Blue Monster. But the most important thing are the employees. And we have many, many employees. We have over a thousand employees, well over a thousand employees at uh, Doral. Uh, Eighty percent of them are Hispanic. Right. We have 80% Hispanic. People don't know these things. And uh, they are they have done a fantastic job. And we issue reports to different people. And we let people, as they stay here or play the courses, what do you think of the various elements of, of Doral? And uh, the thing that they just love, they love the course, they love the brick and mortar, but they love the employees. They are so fantastic. And we're so proud of them. And I thought, you know, this is about jobs. This election is going to be about Obamacare. It's going to be about jobs. It's going to be about a lot of things. But Obamacare is just blowing up. And uh, even the White House, our president, announced uh, 25 or 26 percent. That number is so wrong. That is such a phony number. You're talking about 60, 70, 80 percent in increases, not 25 percent. And I think what he wanted to do, because it was blowing up all over the country, uh, the numbers came out in Texas where it's 60 percent uh, increases and other places, other states. One state's going to be 92 percent, I understand. So I think they wanted to put out, pretty sad when you put out a 25 or 26 percent increase, and that's supposed to be to keep it down. Obamacare has to be repealed and replaced, and it has to be replaced with something much less expensive for the people, and otherwise this country is in even bigger trouble than anybody thought. So we're going to repeal and replace Obamacare. And I can say all of my employees are having a tremendous problem with Obamacare. You folks, this is another group. Is that a correct statement? I mean, you look at what, what they're going through. What they're going through with their health care is horrible because of Obamacare. So we'll repeal it and replace it. But this is about jobs. And we have thousands of employees in Florida. This is just one shift, one great shift of people, and the hotel's 100% occupied, so we had to be a little bit careful. We can't take them all out, and I want to get them back to work, and they want to get back to work. But I thought maybe, and we have not done any rehearsal, uh, nothing, I thought maybe one or two of the folks would like to come up and say a few words. Uh, the reason I say this is that our country needs jobs. Our jobs are moving to Mexico. They're moving to so many different places. Our companies are moving. And 
I said, you know, I'm down in Florida. I'm going tomorrow. We're going to be opening up the old post office where we spent over $200 million and built the most magnificent hotel, I think, anywhere in the country on Pennsylvania Avenue, right between the White House and Congress, and I think uh, the Capitol building. And I think it's going to be, uh, truly, I think it's one of the great hotels, could be one of the great hotels of the world. And that's very exciting. That opens tomorrow. And what a theme is, is we built it on time, right on time, and we actually built it about a year ahead of schedule and under budget. So we're under budget, and in terms of schedule, we were about a year ahead. And if we could ever do that in this country, what a difference it would make. Hospitals are being built that were supposed to cost $600 million, and they end up costing $1.8 billion. Government hospitals, Veterans Administration Hospital, uh, $600 million to a billion two, and even a billion eight I'm hearing right now, totally out of control. So we built this big building, large building, under budget, and ahead of schedule, so we're very proud. We're, we're going to be meeting tomorrow, I think, in the lobby in the front of the building on Pennsylvania Avenue. And I always said, I'm getting to Pennsylvania Avenue one way or the other, so here I have. But I have a feeling, because I think we're winning the race, I think we're actually winning, and I have a feeling that it's going to be a, a tremendous, uh, it's going to be a tremendous victory. The Florida numbers, as you know, the polls are packed. And nobody knows how they're voting, but they all seem to have Trump stickers and Trump hats and Trump pins and Trump shirts. And the uh, polling booths, they said they'd never seen polling booths so active in Florida. People are coming in. There are hundreds of people where there used to be just a small number of people. There are hundreds and hundreds of people. In one polling booth, you have lines that are literally two or three blocks long. So I think Florida is going to be a fantastic, uh, you know, I feel tremendously uh, confident that we're going to win Florida. Very important. We're way ahead in Ohio. We're way ahead in Iowa. We're doing great in North Carolina. So we're going to have an interesting period of time. We'll see what happens. But to a certain extent, we're talking jobs. And I said, we're down in Florida. We're at Trump National Doral. And it's, you know, one of the great places on earth. And I have phenomenal employees. And I thought we'd have just to grab one of the really good shifts get them out for 15 minutes, then they want to get back to work. But if I, if you want, anybody would like to say a few words about working for Trump? Anybody? Anybody back here? Come on. Come on. I hope she's going to say good. Come on. Come on. I love you too. I love you. you want to come up? Come up. Come up. No, come on up. I, I think that's great. Anybody over here? Do you want to say? Come on up. This guy better say good or I'll say... You're fired. I'll say, who is that guy? You're fired. I want to say that uh, even though I have many issues with my family because I've been supporting this man here, I love it and I, I've been so proud to be working in this property since the day zero. And when he decided to, to run for president, I support him since the very first day. And I love it. And I promise you we didn't set this up at all, but that was beautiful. Okay, come on up. Come on up. Hi for you. My name is Maria Nino. I am the senior sales manager uh, for International Tour and Travel. And my job is to bring as much as we can or I can when I travel all from international Europe, South America. I uh, love this place. I'm very proud to work over here, and uh, thank you. Hi, I'm Desiree. I'm the head bartender of the Palm Grill. Just got the promotion. <laughs> Um, when I was looking for a job, um, I was trying to think of like, you know, good names and things that you want to work with and a place that will give you benefits. And the first place I thought of was Trump. And actually worked at the old Trump in Sunny Isles. I also worked there before a few years ago. Sorry, I'm not good at this. <laughs> but I love working here. I love my coworkers and they take really good care of us here. Go ahead. 
Hi, who are you? My name is Charles Hug. I work for Mar-a-Lago. It's an honor to work there. I'm a Latino and I support this man because he deserves it. I empower Trump. And I didn't tell you to say that, right? Absolutely not. Check my out my Twitter. I'm taking a big chance here tonight. Hi, my name is Walker Sovan. I'm originally from Haiti. And I've been at Malago Club in Palm Beach since 2006, and I'm proud to it, but I'm a chump. And I was supported, we will going make America great again. Yeah, my name is Robert Gonzalez. I'm working at Dora for 27 years, and then I consider myself a privilege to work for the President of the United States of America. I'm a Cuban. I'm proud of it. Do you mind if I shake your hand? Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, my name is John Modesty. I've been here for about two years. Uh, I gotta say, I'm really, really happy working here. I've, I've, it stopped being a job for me a long time ago. It's something I do simply for enjoyment. And uh, do I still have to pay you? <laughs> Thank you. That's very, that's very nice. Hello, my name is Leslie. Uh, I work in the kitchen and banquets. I've uh, been here four years also. been through the renovations and I'm also a supporter of Trump. So I'm very happy to work here every day. Where are you from originally? Uh, Chile, America. Chile. Hi, my name is Mita. I work for housekeeping department. I've been here since the hotel was open two years and a half. I'm very proud to be here. I'm very emotional to be next to you. God bless America. Um, I vote for you 100%. You make me feel very proud. Just, these are great people. Oh, good, hi. Hi, my name is Vanessa Blaise. I'm so glad to work here and um, I've been here since 2015 and I have one here and it's hard for me to work with so many beautiful co-workers and then to have shown that we did it 2016. <laughs> From Haiti. From Haiti. That's so nice. Thank you very much. Well, that's a little sampling, but uh, these are just amazing people, and this is what jobs do. Uh, jobs just make lives, and they make people, and they make families, and they're not worried about their health care because we take great care of people. And uh, to have people involved, and I have so many of these where we have such tremendous successes, and the press doesn't like to write about the happiness and the, the jobs and all of the things that we create. Uh, they, you know, they're very negative press, always negative press. But we're so, uh, I mean, I have so many uh, enterprises like this where we create thousands and thousands of jobs. At Doral, I guess the number is really about uh, 1,200 people at least. In addition, we create thousands of jobs off-site because we order so much. I see that uh, the payroll is uh, over $30 million. It's going to be over $30 million this year. That's a lot of pay. And uh, total goods and services will be at $16, $17 million. And that's a lot of money going into the system, a lot of money going into our country. But most importantly, we have happy, just really happy customers. And I'll tell you, to me, perhaps even more important than that, is we have a lot of happy with thousands of people that are happy working here. And that makes me, you know, I, one of the things I'm most gratified over my life, I've created tens of thousands of jobs just like this, tens of thousands of jobs, building buildings. And uh, we had a construction crew here of 1,600 people, uh, and we built it in, again, we built it up, we rebuilt the whole place in about uh, 14 months, which was, nobody thought that was possible to do. And again, we did it under budget, although I did increase the scope of the work because we decided to use the finest marbles instead of not the finest marbles and things like that. But uh, we're just very happy with the way it came out. But I just want to tell you while you're here, I am very happy with you. You are fantastic. And you go back and tell all of the other people. 
just go back and tell all of the other people how I feel. And now you know what they're going to have to say? Go back to work. <laughs> Take care of our customers. Thank you, everybody. We love you. Thank you.
Mr. Trump, will you come take some questions? Mr. Trump! Mr. Trump! Please come take some questions real quick. Mr. Mr. Trump, you haven't done a press conference in over two months. Mr. Trump, we'd love to talk to you real quick. Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump, we're live. Can you come speak with us? Hey, Mr. Trump. Mr. Trump. Mr. Trump, a couple questions real quick. Mr. Trump, why are the women who accused you of sexual assault liars, but the women who accused Bill Clinton not? Mr. Trump. Mr. Trump, you think the last two elections were... Hey, let's hit him on the other side. Come on, come on. Let's hit him on the other side. Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama? Mr. Trump, you still think the election is going to be president Obama
far outweigh the purchase of so a Did you know what he was talking about when he said all of my employees have... Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, he's saying all. Oh, but well, he said all. Well, I'd say... Again, so was he incorrect? I, I wouldn't say he's incorrect, because I would tell you that the only employees that I know, again, I, and I have the books in front of me, that I know that may purchase, purchase Obamacare are typically part-timers. Again, they're not full-time employees, so they wouldn't be eligible for the benefits, and that's typically in corporate America, that's the way it is. You work right. a, so an I, average of 30. So what was he talking about when he said all of my employees? Well, all of his, I would say all of his full-time employees working over 30 hours typically would go under our plan. Right, so what was he Part, talking about? When he said, presumably... I don't, I mean, you heard what he heard. He, he was talking about our full-time employees. Mr. That's Robert, what he meant. Um, how many of the workers here are on um, H-1B or visas? Uh, very, very, very uh, virtually no H. We have very, I'd say, I, I don't know of any that we have that, that are on the H-2B. Uh -huh. They're all, they're all, as he said, the um, majority of our employees are Hispanic. They live in the area. We spent almost $26 million in payroll, plus another 30% in benefits. We buy locally $17 million worth of goods and services in the community. And I think that's what he's talking about. Jobs, keep money into the economy, and that's what he's running on. And, and do you know if the voters, the, I mean, the um, workers who spoke were our voters? Or they are? Oh, I don't know that. And it was, imp and it was impromptu. Right? Trust me, we did not plan it. They, these are people, they just, they love working here. Obviously, it's not just Mr. Trump, it's all of us. We're a thousand people. We're a community, we're a family, no different than Mar-a-Lago or Jupiter. And that's why people work. No different than your jobs. None of these people, no, not one person. They did it all. I didn't even know what Mr. Trump was going to ask me to speak. Whose idea was this? Who decided to organize all these employees to come out here and put them Well, we knew it was in Florida, and I thought it was a good idea, because, again, we're 100% occupied, so everybody's working their butts off. And he's here, and he's leaving, and I said to him the other day, why wouldn't it be good if we could just give the ch You saw the employees. I mean, they, they're so excited. Some of them do get a chance to meet him because they wait on his table, or they clean his room, or he may go to the spa, but the vast majority don't get that opportunity to touch the owner. So this was your so idea, not like a campaign driven No, it was, no it was just a combination of us saying, you're here. He was, he's been here for a couple of days. As you know, he's been traveling. Yesterday he was up in St. Augustine, Tampa. And I said to him, you're here. And I know the staff. This, so, we, we, this is what they work for. You see... I don't know what it was, but I can tell you, I don't think it was a campaign event. This is where the employees get recognized. You know, engagement in a, in a business like ours, if your employees are happy, it leads to profit. It leads to profit. It leads to profit. We make more money and we spend more money. And that's what it's all about. These people were impromptu. I could have, we could have probably had another 20 come up. We created an environment where they enjoy working here. Obviously, it starts at the top with Mr. Trump and Ivanka Trump and Eric Trump and also Don Jr. because they're here a lot in addition to Mr. Trump. And we create a culture. And that's what our job's all about. And we're fortunate we have a 1,000 employees. They come from all over the world. As he said, the vast majority are Hispanic. And they take their pharaoh, they go, and they go home, and they spend it in the community. And we buy goods, the food, beverage, everything right locally. So how did you, you find the people that came here? I mean, how did they you... work here? They just we Remember just some of them. Did you some of them we just well we kept we, we some of them came from the clubs because when we told them we were gonna, Mr. Trump was gonna recognize them, I said why don't you bring some people down? The, the clubs are just starting to get busy. We were 100 percent last night, so we had a thousand. We have a thousand uh, thousand guests in the hotel, so I couldn't even bring everybody. But I tell you, they go home tonight, they are excited. Can you know exactly that they were going to offer testimonials? Then why were reporters told beforehand that they were going to offer testimonials? I didn't know. You're asking me. I didn't. You're the GM, right? I'm the GM, but I didn't know. you probably had some role in it. I didn't know. No, I'm telling you the truth. I did not know that the, the employees were going to, were going to speak. Right, guys. We're going to list of the workers and send it to the campaign. I'll take care of that, like I told you. Yep. Thank you.